Hi there, I don't want to waste your time, so let's just get right into it. One of the first thing you should do when you are setting up new MacBook to check for software updates. Click on Apple logo on the top left corner. Select about your Mac. This is where you can find all the information about your model and configurations you got. So I can see that I have 13 inch M1 2020 MacBook Pro with 16 GB unified memory and bought this model with 1 TB storage option. Click on software update button and over here you can update your software. So it's gonna take little bit of time to do but at least you'll be sure that your brand new MacBook is fully updated and it can run well. I personally use few applications that I believe are very necessary to me and I use them quite often. So number one, I will download Smart Converter. Smart Converter is a very good and free application that lets you convert any video and audio form. Next, one of the main application that I use a lot which is Final Cut Pro. This is where I edit all my YouTube videos on this particular tool. So I will download that particular software as well. Next, I will download the Magnet application. Magnet is a very convenient and a cool application which lets you to resize your window in any direction on your screen. It's a very simple and easy to use app. There are few more apps which I will download later. But the main idea is for you to download all of your apps that you wish to use or you frequently use them. By default, Apple loads up all most of the main apps in the dock. But if you don't use piece of software more than at least like once a week, just remove it. The more organized your dock is, better. Removing the apps from the dock is pretty simple and straightforward. All you can do is just select the application that you want to remove from the dock and drag it outside. The other way is you can right click on the app in the dock under option click remove from dock. If you removed an app that you really want just press command space start searching for it and it will always be there. If you wish to set the dock on auto hide open system preferences click on dock and menu bar check the automatic hide and show the dock or there is a manual option you can quickly press command option d to hide or unhide the dock also the placement of dock is very important especially if you don't use external monitor then you may prefer to keep the dock settings on auto hide and of course, you can always access the dock when you bring the cursor at the bottom or at the right side of your screen, depending where you have placed the dock. Hot Corners is basically a feature that saves a lot of time and boosts your productivity. You put your cursor on top left and right or bottom left or right on your screen you will be able to have different functions. So how you can access this? Open system preferences. And from here, head over to mission control and click on hot corners tab at the bottom. And over here, you may set anything from application window to mission control and lock screen. Personally, I have set mission control on bottom left and lock screen on bottom right. I don't like to set anything on top left or right as top of my screen I always use it for different app settings which is reasonable. If you are switching from Windows machine to Mac then you may have been used to see files and folders and their directories but initially things are a little bit different on Mac, we can work around them. 
So in Windows, we have files and folders directory that we can see in the top bar. But when you open up your finder, by default, you won't see this. I'm going to show you how to get into that. So click on view and select show path bar. When you turn on the path bar, it will show you where you are, especially when you have folders within a folder. The thing is that Mac always comes with an expensive storage option. So it's best to keep an eye to available storage all the time. To do so, click on the view again and select show status bar. By doing this, you're always updated on your remaining storage. Apart from that, those folders that I use frequently, I always like to keep them in the favorite section so I can have easy access to them all the time. All you need to do is those folders that you use frequently, just drag and drop them in the left side panel for quick access. This saves a lot of time, especially when you have a lot of folders into folder. If you have a new MacBook model with the touch bar, then head to System Preferences. Click on Keyboard and select the Customize Touch Bar. And then simply drag the buttons you want to show up on the default view of the touch bar. Don't worry, they will make the leap from your display across the hinge and to the touch bar. The trackpad is exactly the same as before and it remains the best trackpad you can get on any 13 inch laptop. It's enormous, silky, smooth and extremely responsive to multi-finger swipes and gestures. I always keep few changes on my Mac trackpad. To do so, open the system preferences. Open trackpad settings. Over here, I like to keep the secondary click checked which is convenient if you're not using mouse and also turn on the tap to click if it's not checked. Check the other setting and gestures on your trackpad, whatever you wish to enable or disable over here. Starting at a blue screen, before bat can shift your body's natural clock and make it difficult to get a good night's sleep. With Apple's night shift feature, the colors of your display are shifted to warmer end of the spectrum during the evening hours. Head to System Preferences, select Displays and click the Night Shift tab. You can set night shift to come on from sunset to sunrise or you can select a custom time period. Use the slider to adjust the color temperature of the effect between less warmer and more. Once you start using night shift, you will wonder how you ever sat in front of a cold blue screen in the evening hours.